Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 10 of season 2 of the Ancient Magnus Bride. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Now, that is not him breathing, because he's dead. He died last No, are you kidding me? Okay, thank God. I didn't order that. My mother. Just because. No, I, I mean, I think it's called a job. <laughs> we can't share everything. But you'll always be your brother. Do you remember what happened? Duh. 
That's what we want to know. Would that be code to keep him safe, though? That or maybe they're being honest and saying that you truly need friends, Lucy. Very. I mean, but we knew that from the beginning, though. Yeah, I know, but too late. She's already in it. Shit, she's just basically useless right now. <sighs> Which means you and your brother have to die. I don't think we, no, 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 that's a bad idea.
fuck that he just lets them go. But it, it's mainly because it, it's just, if she say if something happens to her, that's when he's going to come. Otherwise, with the siblings, he don't care about Lucy or stuff. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, should we run though? Okay. Fucked up. Of course.
But why though? Hmm. Yeah, but now Lucy's in the same mess because of what they did to her. And if she doesn't, what are you going to do? Shit. Maybe someone just hired them just to kill you to take you guys out because you're that good. But never will know, probably. She wanted her to be somewhere safe. So then I'm guessing the wolves also did that to him as well. What's that?
Jesse. The question is, because we only got, what, two weeks left with this show? Who? Who? Let me be like an owl. Who? 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 <clears throat> right? Um, Cheesy's not that of a person. You're welcome. <laughs> Phil's mom, of course. Grandma, Phil's family, they do any. They the bad guys. Who, 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 we found the fucking answer. This still also wraps up with the tragedy position. So they had to hire the wolves to kill their family in order to get revenge. That's all I'm thinking right now. That, that has to be it. Wrap it up in a nice, neat little bow, and then boom, we're done. I, honestly, because it makes the most sense. But Phil, I feel like Phil has no hatred in her heart for Lucy, but you can see that for Lucy when it's the other way around. So I feel like if something is going to come after Lucy and if Phil is able to stop it, maybe, maybe, just maybe she might help. Who knows? But I, I will say nice thinking on Chise for taking them there. Even though, yes, you didn't have anything for the wolves in their contract. Because, of course, they want meat. And they wanted the other wolves. And they ate the crap out of the husband. So, ooh, damn. But it, ha it happens. Oh. Uh... Crazy. Yeah. But that backstory, to finally get a hell of a lot more context and a lot of questions that I have been wondering finally getting answered because I was like, when are we going to get to see that? But, who? I'm still pissed with the fact that we only have two more weeks left and I, I still I still feel like we're going to end this show on a massive cliffhanger and anything else that I really truly want to get answered is never probably going to get answered in the next couple of years because who knows when the hell season three um, will come. This is why I ultimately will say I'm going to say it now and I'm going to say it in two weeks. Excuse me. Two weeks from now, this is why this show should have been 24 episodes instead of 12. Because it feels like a half ass attempt at trying to do as much as they can do with the little time that they have. And I get it. I've seen companies 
that make shows that they try to do that and, and in the end they're able to thrive on that well but at the same time when you're looking at someone who had a damn good season one and then you're looking at season two like season two is still good but you're still looking at season one as the breadwinner of the series overall and such it's like how i felt with fucking shield hero at the first time when uh when we got into season two or fucking Promise Neverland where a lot of people were very disappointed on how that was going to go because season two was the most anticipated thing for the Promise Neverland in a nutshell. The same with Shield Hero, how everybody was so fucking excited about it and then it didn't deliver. And so I'm not saying that the season isn't delivering. It is delivering, but at the same time, I'm like, it took this long like and then I feel like when we're getting to the final episode it's gonna be like well however this ends we're like I said we're not gonna get an answer for it. and I feel like this like I said it's a half-ass attempt at whatever truly whatever is currently happening in the manga because I mean yeah it, it's a very interesting premise and seeing Chisei go to school and such but I still feel like there is more missing and with two weeks left on two episodes there is no way in hell that you can um truly finish this and to give everyone or really your audience the answers that they truly need so of course that's when you really have to go to source material and so i don't know i mean i, I didn't say i think i said the season one that i was going to read it and i said no i i think probably maybe what if i ever really have free time um, maybe I'll read the manga and such because maybe there is some more information in there that unfortunately the anime cannot bring out because of maybe due to this and that and stuff. Things that we don't really get to see on the behind the scenes when these series are getting created. So hopefully maybe that'll give me more context and such. But with Lucy's backstory with her brother and everything leading up to her family's death, I'm happy we finally got to see that because it, it was it was the one thing for me that was missing at the time. I'm still excited to see how this show is going to end. I think we'll talk a lot more about it when we get into the final episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 2 of The Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy much sweat. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Thursday for episode 11. Bye, guys.